the question we began to ask was, why do some species of mammals have such strong, powerful defenses against predators and others don't have them at all? We looked at 3,500 species of mammal and looked at what type of habitat that they live in, what are their body sizes, and what are their diets. There's a variety of different ways that animals have solved this problem of high predation risk. One of the most obvious ways that people know about uh, is pure body armor. Things like an armadillo here that has a hard keratin carapace uh, or a hard shell over their skeleton that protects them from predators. Other species have evolved permanent spines like this echidna. Uh, hedgehogs do the same thing. Porcupines vary quite a bit. Uh, this is a South American porcupine. Their quills come out very easily. They have barbed tips. They can stick in your skin very easily. These are quills from an African porcupine that are much, much larger, more robust, much more dangerous to a predator if they got stuck with them. And finally, the, the one that most people might be aware of are, are skunks. They have evolved uh, noxious spray defenses where they can turn and spray their predators with a very foul-smelling or even caustic oil. As animals evolve towards intermediate body sizes, or evolve to live in more open habitats, or evolve a, a, a diet that involves more insects, that they tend to evolve these same types of, of defenses. They, as they move towards this type of lifestyle, of being exposed to predators, being at high risk of predation, and having their head down in the dirt to look for insects, they need a greater defense in order to survive predation. And so they've solved that problem in a variety of different ways, whether it's quills or spines or body armor or sprays. As animals evolve either from small body sizes to medium body sizes or large body sizes down to medium body sizes, they enter this danger zone of life where you're just large enough to be seen easily by a predator and, but still small enough to be eaten. As you move from closed habitats up to an open environment, uh, living in a savanna or a desert where you're much more easily seen, you're going to enter this danger zone because you're going to be much more easily available and visible to predators from longer distances away. So there's a lot of species of mammals that live in this same danger zone that don't have strong armor like we're seeing in these animals here. But there's a lot of different ways to solve this puzzle. If you're exposed to high risk, there's different ways you can protect yourself from predators. A lot of the species that live in this danger zone are hopping species, things like rabbits and uh, small marsupials that can hop very rapidly away from predators. Other species may be particularly aggressive, like small carnivores. Other species might flee into the water or move into burrows when harassed by predators. There's a variety of ways of solving this problem. This is just one particular way that, that mammals have chosen to do, to do so.